Greetings from Nuuk, the capital of Greenland, the northernmost capital in the world. And now I'm standing in front of these uh, statues over here, and that's the statues of Hans Egede. And that is the uh, missionary that uh, founded Nuuk. And here is the uh, viewing platform where I am at right now. And the whole place is to uh, myself. So I got to Nuuk last night and I could not do my filming because I was tired. I'm staying here for over a week so I have plenty of time to do uh, my, uh, my YouTube stuff. And over here is the uh, statues over here. This is one of the, uh, this is one of the main attractions that you might uh, need to visit if you get the chance to uh, visit this beautiful uh, country called Greenland and uh, over there is the cathedral it's a nice uh, building I'm not sure if you've seen the uh, the church that I visited when I was in North uh, Greenland uh, last week in Ilulisat that was a beautiful beautiful uh, visit make sure you check out that video and uh, down there is the uh, is the house of Hans Egede and it's the first house in Greenland when he settled in this uh, town Nuuk he decided to build a house here and up ahead over there is where the uh, uh, the boats uh, depart so most likely if you book a tour a boat tour most likely you're gonna go from from that uh, place over there and uh, on that side that is the uh, they call it the old harbor which means that the uh, the the old houses the colorful houses because Nuuk is famous for uh, for the color houses will be over there and later I'm gonna walk all the way there to uh, to explore the city and uh, if you look at this direction over there that is actually if you go there you walk down that street and that is the main shopping street and that's where the uh, the center of the town is located over there so if you're going for shopping or if you're going for a grocery uh, shopping or anything like that you go that street and there is a big mall that I might go walk uh, later and the weather today is uh, is really really beautiful so uh, so this is what's gonna happen I'm gonna go walk down the street over there and uh, and then I will go explore the old section of the town to see those beautiful uh, beautiful colorful houses and then in another video today afternoon I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go visit a settlement, an abandoned settlement and that's about an hour sailing from, from here and that will be in a different, uh, in a different video. So uh, if you're watching this video, so you're gonna feel as if you were here just walking alongside me exploring this, uh, this city, Nuuk, one of the most remote capitals in the world. So let's go, let's go and walk down the streets. So, uh, and I, uh, I'm sure you will enjoy this uh, beautiful town. So, let's go. The, uh, the National Museum is up ahead. In case you want to learn the history of uh, Greenland, that will be the place. And just next to the, uh, next to Nuuk water, uh, water taxi. And let's go, uh, let's go explore this cathedral. It's very nice uh, cathedral, and it uh, seems to be open. And we will go and just uh, take a peek inside. There is a gentleman cleaning the uh, the entrance. I'm not sure if uh, if I am allowed. Am I allowed to get in? Am I allowed to get in? Admit, two minutes. 
Ja. Thank you. This area, here is the Cathedral of Nook. All right, I took a look inside the church and now I'm uh, walking toward the uh, National uh, Museum and I just want to uh, to check out that area because I need uh, to go there after lunch and uh, take the uh, the settlement uh, tour and that will be a very very beautiful visit and as I am walking uh, I see a beautiful uh, beautiful buildings over here uh, and Nuuk is uh, the Greenlandic word for Cape and Nuuk is uh, famous for its position of the uh, in the uh, at the mouth of uh, Nuuk ice fjord and Nuuk ice fjord is the second largest ice fjord system in the world and you will see that in another uh, video because in two days I'm taking a uh, I'm gonna sail in the ice fjord and you will explore that uh, system the second largest uh, ice fjord system in the world and that will be in another video definitely and as I said, uh, I have plenty of time here in uh, Nuuk. I'm staying here for uh, for over a week, so I'm not really in rush, and I'm not gonna spend all days filming. So probably I'm just gonna do two days of filming, and then the rest is just uh, relaxing and uh, you know and exploring the town without filming. And as you can see here, I'm not sure if you can see that uh, house, there is a letter C11. And that, they have letters on the, on the top of the ceiling because in the wor World War II, the planes, the uh, uh, needs to see the number of each house so that they know the location where they can drop supplies and mail and all that kind of stuff. So I, um, I'm sure I covered that in uh, in Ilulisat. I covered that topic in Ilulisat because, as you can, uh, as you really know, Denmark um, controls uh, Greenland. And in World War II, in World War II, Denmark uh, collapsed. The Nazis occupied uh, Denmark, and then Greenland was relying on the uh, US and the British uh, for uh, supplies so they were supplying them and that's how they were uh, able to look for the uh, location where they dropped the supplies and this is the uh, this seems to be the National uh, Museum over here that you see and up ahead you see a beautiful uh, beautiful view there is also a boardwalk that you can walk up ahead and since I am already here instead of going to the uh, to the shopping uh, street I will uh, go this way first before I head back to the main uh, to the main section and there is the uh, here is the office of the uh, company called Nuke Water Taxi so most likely if you are taking any kind of boat tours most likely you're gonna be uh, departing from here and in two days I'm, I'm, I'm taking the uh, they call it the ice fjord uh, the ice fjord tour that takes about seven hours and you will see that in another video and here is uh, there is a cafe up ahead in case you want to eat before you uh, before you start your tour because most of the tours here take time about two hours three hours seven hours so make sure you eat well 
you eat well before you you depart before you board your uh, your your boat but keep in mind if you're suffering from motion sickness it probably you might get sick if you eat and then you go right away to the boat so keep that in mind so do not eat too much before you go um, on a boat because sometimes the ride is so bumpy depending on how the weather is and how the water level is and how the waves and all that kind of stuff so that just keep that in mind if you do plan to uh, to take a, a boat tour and and if you're suffering if you get dizzy just make sure you look at the horizon when you are on a boat or you look up do not look at your phone do not look at your cell phone do not look at your camera when you are on a boat on a bumpy ride because you might get dizzy so this only applies to people who suffer from motion sickness so look at the horizon all the time and look uh, look far away look at the uh, remote objects do not look at your cell phone while you are on a boat do not read don't do that because you might get you might get sick and here is the uh, here is the um, the water taxi office I do need to ask hello sir Hello. you don't mind if you're on camera it's okay yeah I am taking um, a tour yeah. afternoon around noon time yeah. to Kangik settlement Oh yeah. Is is that where I am supposed to? Uh... Yeah, it is. It okay. Is the meeting point. Yeah. W what time should I be here? Uh, if if my tour departs at noon. Well, fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. I should be here. Fifteen minutes early. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, and how long will that tour take? Three hours. Okay, three hours. All right. All right. Great. Thank you. You too. Yeah. See you soon. And where is the national museum? Uh, this uh, yeah. that one, okay. Uh, this one, this white building. The white building. Yeah. And there is a cafe here because I want to eat sandwich before, before your tour starts. Yeah. So I can eat here. Yes, they have they have a good sandwich. Okay, great. There's a local museum over there in the corner. Nice. Yes. All right. Good. Thank you. You too. Yeah. So uh, you heard what the gentleman just said. So it's nice that uh, there is a cafeteria and there might be a public uh, uh, restroom, public toilet here, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there is a public toilet, but probably if you eat at the cafe over there, there might be a public uh, uh, toilet. And uh, for now, let's go, let's go walk the boardwalk. There is a beautiful boardwalk up ahead and uh, there is also a restaurant over there but they are now closed because it's too early right now time is uh, 10 30 a.m. as you can see it's not uh, it's not that crowded and when I was in Ilulishat up north the sun never sets we we have sunshine 24 24 hours sunshine around this time in the summer but in nuke i'm not sure i'm not sure if we have a sunshine 24 hours because i got here last night around uh, 9 p.m and i slept right away so i did not get a chance to see if the sun is still up after midnight but we will find out uh, today if we if we also have uh, 24 hours of sunshine what a beautiful view you see here there are, there are uh, benches over here you can uh, you can sit and relax and uh, much to my delight and surprise the whole uh, the whole area is to uh, is to myself and you are exploring now nook with me this video is gonna be a little bit long as usual and I really have a hard time um, keeping it short 
because that's not my goal to keep it short it's not my goal to edit the video and keep it short and and uh, to to make everybody everybody happy so for those people who don't like those kind of long videos you do not have to to watch but if you do like to explore this uh, remote capital one of the most remote capitals in the world then this video will be very good for you and it will give you also a good sense of what you're gonna come across when you uh, when you visit this beautiful uh, country I'm not sure how long this uh, this uh, boardwalk is but if I uh, point the camera behind me you see the um, the view the view that I, I see over there I was all the way on the top and close to that uh, statue hence Egedi statue so the population here the population of Nook is about 16,800 so it's not really uh, it's not really a big uh, population but it's the uh, it's the largest uh, is the largest town in uh, in Greenland and the whole in the whole Greenland the population of the whole Greenland is not even 55,000 as of 2022 so uh, and uh, you already know that Greenland is covered with ice 85 percent covered with uh, with ice and this uh, there is some kind of constructions uh, up, uh, up ahead and I'm not sure if you uh, if you watch Ilulisat videos when I was up north uh, the ice fjord was full of uh, icebergs so uh, if you're really interested in uh, in, uh, in seeing Greenland check out my videos of uh, of Ilulisat I'm sure you will uh, you will enjoy what you see and uh, here is uh, here is where the boardwalk ends and there is uh, some kind of maintenance work going on here forgive me if it's uh, a little bit noisy but you see uh, up ahead a big uh, apartments complex just to show you how people live here you see over there they're all apartment complex over there and actually the boardwalk is not over yet there is more there is more to walk over there I'll try to uh, to explore the whole boardwalk but to get back to the main city I go this way but first let's go let's go explore the uh, the rest of the uh, boardwalk so the boardwalk ends here with this uh, view over here and the whole the whole boardwalk is to uh, is to myself you see uh, look at this uh, and that is really really huge uh, huge uh, apartment complex over there very very uh, serene serene environment here so uh, so now uh, I'm gonna go back to the main to the main center and uh, show you the mall the shopping mall and the main shopping street so you get an idea as to what uh, the mall is like here and all that kind of stuff and then later I'm gonna go to the old harbor 
to show you the old uh, the old colorful uh, houses and that will be a very very uh, nice uh, nice uh, photo ops will be very uh, picturesque uh, area I'm trying to find my way back to the uh, to the center of the town and as I am walking along the this street I see a beautiful uh, beautiful houses on this side and the uh, the harbor is on uh, that side the one that you saw earlier but this street uh, also has a stretch of uh, modern buildings over here so you get an idea as to what kind of flats apartments uh, people live in over there you see and they go by the block I think block 9 block 7 block 9 so that every building seems to have a number and that building number 5 so probably this is how they uh, this is how they uh, they design the uh, the buildings and uh, every building has a parking lot and just to let you know just to let you know that uh, that in Greenland you cannot drive to another town because there are no roads that connect the uh, that connects the towns with each other so if you see a car here all those cars can only you can only drive them within Nook you cannot go outside Nook because there are no roads and I'm saying this because when you get to uh, Greenland in Nook you do not need to rent a car because it's gonna be useless this is not Iceland this is Greenland in Iceland you do have to rent a car to move from one from one region to another and this is exactly what I did when I was in Iceland check out my Iceland videos you're gonna see how I moved from one town to another I, I actually drove the whole country in Iceland but here in Greenland I cannot do that because I cannot drive so I had to I had to fly I had to fly to Kangarluswak fly to Ilulisat fly to Nook and the other option the other option is to uh, take a boat or a ferry to move from one town to the next and here is uh, as I am finding my way to the city center I see a nice uh, a nice uh, bench over here you can sit here and enjoy this uh, beautiful view earlier I was there and now the main street goes there there's a big shopping mall there and uh, and earlier the boardwalk that you saw earlier is that way I really like those uh, buildings the way they design it uh, is very very uh, very smart uh, design the architects the engineers did a good job and this is number one you see the number number one and let's go now uh, let's go now find uh, find the mall see this is now I'm, ent I'm entering the main street over here and it's gonna be a little bit traffic over here because that's the that's the busiest uh, street and there there are not you're not gonna see a lot of traffic lights here in Ilulisat when I was in Ilulisat up north there I could not find any traffic light uh, there there are no traffic lights here in, uh, in, 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 in Ilulisat I mean but here in Nuuk I only saw one traffic light yesterday on my way from the uh, from the airport and this is the uh, bus station this is how the bus uh, stops look like this is bus stop 12 I would assume that if you're going to the harbor to the to that nice uh, 
uh, cathedral and the statues of Hans Egede. I would assume that this is the bus stop that you need to take but I I did not have the need to take a bus or a taxi so far because everything is within a, within a walking distance and here is I am entering the heart of the uh, of Nuuk and you see if I'm if I uh, turn the camera off to the left this is the police uh, station over there and the mall if I am not mistaken it will be up ahead here is the mall it's called Nuuk Center and you see a big building over here but all the all the uh, uh, remaining of the building are offices so uh, I would assume that the first floor the first floor or the second floor will be the mall and we will see how the mall is like and if I'm not mistaken it's the only shopping mall a big shopping mall here in uh, in Greenland so we will just walk there and show you shopping mall of Luke so if you are into shopping I don't think you come here to Greenland to do shopping but but in case you want to shop this will be the place to to go and as you can see there are two entrances to this uh, shopping mall and uh, two uh, two floors we will go we will first explore the first floor and there is not that much to explore it seems it looks like it's a small small uh, mall and here is the third there is the third entrance and there is a food court over here you can eat here and what else they have they have a big supermarket here yeah this will be uh, the main supermarket here at this mall but let's go uh, let's go upstairs this is upstairs the second floor and it's not uh, it's not really that big anyway I'm not gonna spend that much time here I will uh, find my way find my way to the exit to explore the uh, the the town outside all right on with the walk and talk I just got out from the mall the mall was uh, over there and uh, it's called Nook Center and here off to the right I think I see these buildings and they seem to be apartment complex and I am on my way to uh, to the main uh, to the main center there is a famous hotel over there that I'm trying to go to and show you and I also stayed in uh, in that uh, section of the town the uh, the hotel that I showed you in the other video it's a really nice um, hotel and almost everywhere almost all attractions are within uh, walking distance and look at these uh, look at these uh, apartments I'm not sure if they are uh, occupied or uh, vacant not really sure but they look to me they are uh, 
occupied people are actually living there people live in those uh, apartments I would uh, I would assume and here is the uh, one of the rare one of the rare traffic lights that you will see in uh, in Nook you're not gonna see a lot of traffic lights in Nook and this is the uh, this is the hotel the uh, the 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 main street over there this one is the one of the busiest uh, street and also a nice hotel is uh, over there and that's where the heart of the city is and then I'm gonna go back to the back to the old harbor to look at the colorful houses <clears throat> it's gonna be a nice uh, there is a nice opportunity for photos on the uh, on the in the old harbor I'm gonna get to that uh, later and they're building a new uh, a lot of constructions to be quite honest with you around this area And this is the hotel that I'm talking about Hotels Hans Egedy This is one of the better hotels here in, uh, in Nuuk And the one that I is, I'm staying at is not that far from here It's just uh, a few blocks away And the one I'm staying at is called almost the same ha Hotel Hans Egedy Express So it's the express version of this main hotel so it's kind of a budget hotel that belongs to the same company and it's uh, and I heard that there is a nice restaurant on the uh, rooftop on the top floor if I'm not mistaken and this area seems to be very very crowded because this is considered the heart of the town and if you uh, if you googled Nook uh, you're gonna see uh, images on Google on Google images and this place is one of them here where you see a lot of local merchants selling their stuff over here I'm not sure what that is this is a, a shopping mall not shopping mall, it's a grocery supermarket over here and off to the left is another another grocery store and this is the uh, this, is, this is the heart of the town folks over here but what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna try to avoid the crowd and I will go to the to the old harbor where you're gonna enjoy a very very beautiful uh, beautiful view of the uh, of the colorful houses here in 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 Nook so we will uh, we will get there because my goal is not to come to this area and film my goal is actually to to uh, to get to the old harbor and enjoy that uh, quiet area but not this place we will get there so let's go On my way back to the old harbor, I've, I found this uh, cultural site, it's called Katwak cultural site and there is a cafeteria inside so you can, uh, you can take a break and drink coffee inside or uh, eat lunch, light lunch so the cafeteria cafeteria is uh, is this way and this is uh, about a few blocks from the old harbor and also from the main uh, from the heart of the city 
So everything is within a walking distance by the way. Everything is close. It's not that huge town. And we will go inside and see what this place is uh, like. cafeteria here but we'll just keep walking to explore the, the place I'm gonna get a cup of coffee here take a break before I continue my my exploring this video will give you a, a sense of what the whole town is like so I'll get back to the cafeteria take a break drink some coffee and then I will continue my walk and talk so stick with me till the end this video is not over yet well I just got out of the cultural center it's called Katwak Cultural Center. It turned out that it's a it's a movie theater up there and a cafeteria and restaurant inside. Very very beautiful place. And here is the uh, police station. And now I am on my way to to a very nice uh, spot for photos. And that will be the old harbor where you will see beautiful colorful uh, houses. Let's uh, let's go. See the old harbor is this way over there. But now I came back to this location in part because this house that you see right here is the first stone house in Greenland. And that's the house of Hans Egede when he uh, settled in uh, Nuuk he built uh, this this house that you see in uh, in front of me and now it's used by the government to host some events some important events and I'm just gonna walk through the uh, walk around the house and it's really really uh, it's really huge and I really had a hard time finding it because if you watch the video from the beginning I pointed out that there is a house, Hanks Egerty house around this area and now I got the chance to uh, to get to it and but it's not open to the public because as I said it's only used by the official authority to host some events so uh, so when you come here just visit this uh, house because it's very very historic house and it's the first house the first house built uh, with stone in in uh, in Greenland so now I'm gonna head back to the uh, to a very nice uh, section of the town that I keep saying I'm gonna go there I'm gonna go there but now for sure I will uh, I will go there and make sure you visit the National Museum when you get a chance because you will see you will learn a lot of history, history of uh, Greenland. I'm walking up this street and I just want to show you how this residential area looks like. This is along the uh, harbor over here and I was told that in Greenland you're not allowed to uh, buy a land you can only rent a land for 99 years or, or 100 years one or the other and then you renew the the lease when it when it expires so uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure how that works so all these houses so that means that they buy that they rent the land and then they build the houses on their own I'm not quite sure so the law is a little bit complicated here when it comes to uh, buying a property 
over here and you see very nice uh, nice cars here modern cars but you cannot really drive outside Nook you cannot drive your car to go to another town because there are no roads no roads that will connect Nook with other towns you will have to fly as I mentioned in my previous videos and earlier in this uh, video so uh, this the street ends here I'm not quite sure where I am going but it's always good to explore the uh, the area and up ahead you see a lot of uh, a lot of houses over there and that is the uh, the view that you can enjoy if you have a nice uh, if you have a nice camera if you can zoom if you have a nice camera with a nice lens you can you can capture a nice a nice photo of this beautiful uh, beautiful uh, colorful houses and Nook is famous for for its colorful houses so you can come here and this area is very quiet and the whole uh, the whole place is to myself and tomorrow I'm gonna take uh, I have a day trip I'm gonna sail along the uh, ice fjord ice fjord nuke ice fjord system which is the second largest system in the world I'm gonna explore that and that tour will take about will take about seven seven hours and I will share that uh, with you and later I'm gonna go to a, an abandoned settlement about 45 minutes sailing from where I am right now and I will keep that in another video as well for now you see this magnificent view of Nook the capital of Greenland and I'm not sure if I could uh, get closer you can actually hike down to uh, to get closer to the to the area that I'm trying to get to and there is actually a road there when you come back you can take that road and walk down walk up the street and it's about five minutes walk from uh, Hans Egede statue that you uh, that you saw earlier So I took a break here for the better part of five minutes just to enjoy this uh, tranquility and it's very quiet here it's so uh, it's so quiet here and the whole place is to myself so for all intent and purpose I'm gonna end this video here and uh, if you come to Nook don't forget to visit this particular spot to capture a nice uh, photo so uh, keep watching my videos of uh, Greenland there are more to come and check out my um, Ilulisat videos I was up north last week and I shared some videos so that city is really really out of this world for now have a, have a wonderful day and take uh, take good care see you in other videos bye bye